The default view of the develop module is the loop view. But you can always work with these options here called before after views. Now this is a great way to see what you achieved. So what was your original photograph? See it side by side with the changed version. So let me choose first the before after left right. So once again, by clicking on this icon here, the YY, you can switch that view on, or with the little arrow, down pointing arrow, you can choose a different pre before after view. So let's just look at this one first. And if you remember, there's a useful keyboard shortcut by pressing tab, you can actually have uh, the left and right panels uh, hidden, and then you have more space to work with your images. So now we can see the before on the left and the after version of uh, with the editing on the right. If I click on the image, I can see a closer view. And the great thing is that we will see the same changes in the view on the left and the right at the same time. So it's a great way to compare and see the, the differences we achieve with our editing. Once you click again on the image, it will zoom back out. If you prefer to see the after on the left and the before on the right, you can swap them by clicking on this icon here. So if I click on that, I will have the opposite uh, layout. And I can also change the view from left right to left right split. So once again, I clicked on that down pointing arrow and choose split, which will actually show one image only and it will split it in the middle. Let me just swap again from left to right, so I have before on the left and after on the right. So now as you can see we start to look at the image from the left as it was before and then on the after we can see the changes. Once again if I click on the image I can zoom closer and I can see the before and after easily. So it's like swiping between the two options. This way I can concentrate on specific areas, for example here in the valley, we can have a look at the lake, so see it before and after. There's also other ways to view the changes, you can change it to top and bottom, so then you can have the before and after visible on top and the bottom, let me just show you, so this is another way to view the changes, and then we can choose the last one, the before after top bottom split. So once again, it's a split version when we see the, without the changes on the top and with the changes below the uh, divider line. If you want to learn the keyboard shortcuts for these specific before after views, you can always go to the help menu and choose develop module shortcuts. And as you can see, it's Y if you want to see the before after left and right. And you can use option or alt Y if you want to see them up and down. So let me just show you this. I go back to the loop view by pressing D. Then I press Y to see them left and right. And if I press Alt I, I see top and bottom. And that's all what you need to know about the before after options. And in the next video, I'm going to show you another very easy way to see before and after views for specific changes only. So not the whole image and global adjustments, but only a specific set of changes.